Solve the equation. 3x minus 4 equals b times x plus 8. This b here is actually an unknown constant, so it could be some number, but we don't know what it is. We're going to solve this equation for x, though. Now, even though you have this unknown constant here, b, the steps are exactly the same. The first thing we need to do is get all the variable terms on one side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract b times x from both sides. You could also subtract 3x if you wanted to. So 3x minus bx, then minus 4, equals just this plus 8. This bx is gone now that we subtracted it. Okay, now normally what we would do is if this b was actually a number, we'd just say 3x minus whatever x and get our x term. But we can't do that here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a distributive property and factor out an x from both sides. So it's going to be 3 minus b. It's the same thing as x times 3 is 3x, x times minus b is minus bx. I'm factoring out this x so we can finish solving for it. If you didn't factor out the x here, you could not get the x by itself. It's the only way to do it. The rest of this stays the same. Next I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So you're going to get x times 3 minus b equals 8 plus 4, which is 12. Okay, now we're going to see the payoff for this distributive property step. We're going to divide both sides by 3 minus b to eliminate and get the x by itself. So x equals 12 over 3 minus b. Okay, there's the equation solve for x. So for any number b, you could substitute in here and figure out what the x value is. So it's kind of like a function in a way, but this b is actually supposed to be a constant, not a variable. But anyway, those are the steps for solving an equation when you have an unknown constant like a, b, or c.